In a historic moment, the National Eligibility Come Entrance Exam, or NEET UJ, has seen registration figures cross the 25 lock mark for the first time. This year's registration process has witnessed an increase of about 4.2 lock applicants compared to the previous year. As the last day of registration drew to a close on a Saturday, an unexpected surge of students were still attempting to apply. They were rushing against the clock, hoping to secure a spot for the medical entrance exam scheduled for May 5th. Despite the deadline approaching, there were many who were still in the process of registering, even late into the evening. Some of the complications that students faced during this year's registration process included a lack of a linked Aadhaar card and mobile number. This posed a significant barrier for many, as these elements are required to complete the registration process. In some cases students were unable to receive the necessary OTP because their old number was still linked to their Aadhaar card. As a result, many students have called for an extension of the registration deadline. This year, the gender breakdown of applicants has been noteworthy, with over 13 lakh applications coming from women candidates. These aspiring students are competing for about 2 lakh seats, spanning various medical fields including MBBs, dental, Unani, homeopathy, veterinary, Ayurveda, and nursing. The increasing interest in pursuing a career in medicine is attributed to several factors. One key reason is the perceived job security associated with being a doctor. In India, the doctor-patient ratio stands at 1, 834. To meet the standards set by the World Health Organization, India needs an additional 5 lakh doctors. Another emerging trend is medical tourism, where patients from foreign countries travel to India for treatment. This has placed an increased demand for skilled and qualified doctors within the country. The increase in NEET UG registration signals a growing interest in the medical field, as more students vie for a limited number of seats, it is clear that the competition is intensifying. This could potentially lead to higher standards of medical education and practice in the future. It also underscores the urgent need for policy changes to accommodate the rising number of aspirants and to resolve the technical issues hampering the registration process. In the end, the surge in registration is a testament to the resilience and determination of students, who despite various obstacles, continue to strive towards their dream of becoming doctors. Despite the challenges, the future of India's medical field appears promising, driven by a new generation of dedicated and ambitious students.